Caballero was actually doing pretty good in the back, but he wasn't going to stop this good play here. Cabela goes and he does a very good play. He shoots it and he makes it 2-0 in the second half. If you guys want to get some FIFA Ultimate Team Coins, head over to FIFAcoinsBuy.com and use the discount code QUINKIN for 5% off. Yo, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? It is me, Quinkin, and welcome back to this episode of the Newcastle United Career Mode series. And I've been having a lot of fun making this career mode, and I really want to take out another season. So that is what we're going to do. And if we can get over 70 likes on today's episode, that would be greatly appreciated. The season's almost over, and I need the most support I can so I can bring in the next season. But I was taking a look at the players that are out on loan, and this kid is really, really good. Jamal Lasiles, he's a 71 overall rated player, 21 years old. He's a center back, and he's gone up by four overall ratings. I can't wait to use this guy next season. Carl Darlow, he's going to be a very good goalkeeper to use the next season in our Cups. If it's Capital One Cup, FA Cup, or the Champions League, I might use him. Uh, but he's 24 years old, 68 overall rated. And David Santan, this guy, we're going to sell him next season when he comes back from loan from Inter. We're going to sell him because we already have a Mavi and Haidara. We have Taylor and Yanmat. So our fullbacks are pretty full. So he's going to be going out the next season tell me what you guys think about that in the comment section down below should i get rid of santin i'm thinking of doing it because we already have a good amount of fullbacks in our team but we're gonna be facing everton in the first game of today's episode and they are two places under us so this is gonna be a very important game but we're gonna start things off with errands to capella and cabela scores to make it one nil this guy scored in the previous episode and he's scoring once again we are up one nil versus everton and everton surprisingly weren't attacking a lot in the first game we did face them this season we did lose against them so we had to win we do make some substitutions and we have a free kick ryan taylor goes up to take it and he scores ryan taylor he has really really good free kick stats and he scores this spectacular goal to make it 2-0 and ryan taylor he scores the first free kick of this season that was a very very good goal and we win this game 2-0 and we get the three points and Everton surprisingly weren't that good and Besic he was playing for Everton before and the fans did hate him he came in as a substitute he did very well and the fans hated him we get some prize money from the tournament and our schedule was changed around we have to face Liverpool then Blackburn in the FA Cup and then we have Swansea and then the Spurs so we have some very good games coming up but it was time to change the squad around versus Liverpool because Liverpool are a very very good side they do play with a three in the back so we were gonna put in some new players some fresh faces and I like the way that Taylor played and we put Sim De Jong but this game was very boring Ricky Lambert he did have the only shot of the game and that was the only opportunity that was actually pretty good in the game we did have some opportunities but they were nowhere near the goal so we do draw this game versus Liverpool a very boring game but this is how it affected us in the league table we stay in fourth place Liverpool's in fifth and we keep our spot in fourth place but now it was time to play this game in the FA Cup versus the Blackburn Rovers and in the other semi-final we do have Manchester United versus Arsenal so if we beat Blackburn Rovers we're gonna make it to the final to either face Manchester United or Arsenal and this is a squad I brought forward a 4-4-2 we have Angel Correa and Riveri as the two strikers I wanted to give Riveri a chance because you guys told me in the comment section down below to give him a chance he's a very good young striker that plays for Newcastle so I put him in and Blackburn we're gonna start things off and we do concede the first goal of the game and Blackburn were playing pretty good but they surprised us and they're up 1-0 but here's Aarons he centers it in to Riveri and that is his first goal in the FA Cup the game's tied 1-1 we go into the second half Blackburn on the wing and they score to make it 2-1 there were so many damn goals in today's game but here's a great ball to Riveri he scores to make it 2-2 and Riveri was playing so freaking well in today's game he makes it 2-2 it was time to make some substitutions we put in Besic and Cisse hopefully that helped out but it did not 
we go down 3-2 and Blackburn Rovers were playing so good they kept scoring on us and our defense was so bad we get things here with Cissé we pass it off to Rivedi and this kid scores a hat trick there were so many goals but here we go 90th minute Rivedi gets the pass from Cissé he scores 4-3 and we are winning the game in the 90th minute everything is done there's no way we can concede any more goals and we are celebrating because this is such an important goal. We're going to the final now. Such a great job from Cissé to win the ball. Riveri is there and he scores four goals in one game. We are practically in the final and we're either going to face Arsenal or Manchester United but then this happened. We concede a fourth goal they kept attacking us they made runs they got past our defense and I think this was an own goal we had to go into extra time Aaron is on the ball he shoots it straight at their goalkeeper and we had one more opportunity Cissé steals the ball he goes on we go on the counter-attack can Rivedi go up front no he can't Cissé is gonna go by himself he shoots it and he misses and we have to go to penalties now because he missed it so Cissé is the first guy to go up he makes it in Tim Krul is very good in penalties but they do make their first penalty. Goyfran goes up to take his. He makes his penalty. And I'm really, really bad at penalties. I hate penalty shootouts. And Blackburn Rovers were actually really good at keeping composure. Sissoko makes his penalty. And Tim Krul, all you have to do is save one. He goes the right direction and it gets past him. And then it was Amavi to go up. He makes his very good job from him and Tim Krul he was getting so unlucky he just had to he just had to block one penalty and we were gonna go through and Rivedi was gonna go up the guy that scored four goals in one game and he goes up and he misses his penalty Tim Krul had to save the next penalty and if not we're gonna be knocked out of the FA Cup and I thought that Tim Krul was gonna save that he went the right direction but the ball still got past him and we get knocked out of the FA Cup we get some prize money we're gonna save that for next season and we're gonna sim this match versus Swansea City and Swansea aren't a very good side so we sim it and we win the game at 2-1 we get the three points very good but I'm very disappointed that we couldn't make it to the final of the FA Cup realistically that's the only trophy that we could have won this season and all that we have to fight for is to maintain our spot in the top four so that we can make it to the Champions League next season but Angel Correa and Ruben Neves they're gonna be on their way out of the club and Angel Correa he is gonna be one of our signings for next season for sure he's been doing very well uh, in his short loan time here so I'm gonna get him next season and these are the games we have left in the season we have the Spurs Leicester West Brom we also have QPR and West Ham United and this is how we're looking in the league table we are in fourth place and we're one point behind third place so if we can keep this up we'll even take third place but we want to keep our top four positions and Emmanuel Ribéry he scored four goals in one game I'm very impressed by this kid but I'm gonna give him more opportunities in the future and he's doing very well here in Newcastle I'm gonna use him more I'm very happy with what he did but I'm very disappointed that we got knocked out of the FA Cup and hopefully we can stay in the top four. But this is the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, remember to leave a like, a comment, subscribe for new. I'm Quinkin and I'll see you guys next.